workers' compensation and employers' liability. Before we begin, it is important to understand that workers' compensation policies are unlike any other policies. They are actually a national program, and in most states, the law requires that employers carry workers' compensation. This policy is not optional. You will often hear it being characterized as statutory, which means it is in reference to the laws and regulations surrounding workers' comp. For most other coverages, like GL, excess, etc., the insured actually gets to choose the amount, the limits, the details of the coverage, etc., but workers' comp is different. The amount of coverage is mostly dictated by the state of where the insured company is. The government created this statutory workers' comp insurance program to protect both the employees and the employers. In case of an injury, an employee gets compensated and gets medical expenses taken care of, and the employers don't have to risk huge incentives. It's a win-win. So statutory workers' compensation is a no-fault system, meaning that the employee doesn't have to prove that the employer is at fault to receive benefits. In many states, employers pay for workers' compensation with insurance premiums paid to wide workers' compensation funds. And in other states, employers are permitted to self-insure and pay the claims themselves. Why do we need employer's liability? Employer's liability coverage provides coverage for work-related bodily injury or disease other than those that are covered by the workers' compensation laws. ERMI defines workers' compensation as an insurance policy that provides coverage for an employers' two key exposures arising out of injuries sustained by employees. The two key risk exposures are as follows. Part one of the policy, workers' compensation. This covers the employer's statutory liabilities under workers' compensation laws. It's a policy that offers benefits as determined by the state to an employee due to job-related injuries resulting from an accident or occupational disease, such as medical expenses, lost wages, etc. This policy also includes death benefit, with the benefit being transferred for the employee's family. Again, a lawsuit or proof of negligence is not required in order to obtain workers' comp benefits. Part two is the employer's liability coverage which covers liability arising out of an employee work-related bodily injury that is not covered by the workers' compensation. Employers' liability lawsuits typically involve one or more of the following claims. Third-party overaction, consequential bodily injury, dual capacity suits, or more. Those are just a few examples. On a certificate, an agent needs to indicate whether or not the workers' compensation policies apply on a per statute or other basis. This indicates whether or not the workers' compensation policy meets the state requirement. Here are some examples why the other box might be checked. The coverage exceeds state requirements. The state does not have requirements for workers' compensation. Most often, this would be seen in monopolistic states, such as North Dakota, Ohio, Washington, and Wyoming. An agent should also include a yes or a no in the exclusion box to indicate whether or not there are employees exclusion on the policy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about employer's liability or workers' compensation, feel free to comment below and please watch more of our videos. Thanks.